Hi, I'm making a video for this person. I apologize. I'm not sure how to pronounce the YouTube name you go by. Um, but I will put your name in the title of this video. You asked a question on how to hook a coffee pot up on the load port on a solar charger controller. Now I'm going to show you in here on my small controller and outside. So you get the gist of it. If you're going to hook anything up to your load, I mean anything, always have some type of inline fuse. The fuse will go into the positive side of the solar charger controller. Now if you're wanting to hook up something to run like a coffee pot, if it's a 12 volt or if you have a small DC to AC inverter, you can hook up and wire up. Now I am missing one wire here, the negative wire. Now these will go to the battery, so you can just write these off, don't even consider these. What we're wanting to do is look at the load. Now this is only a 12 volt, 15 amp, right here. So out of the load, this will only put out 5 amps at max. Now to hook something up to your load, you definitely need a fuse, an inline fuse on your positive side. Then if you're going to use something like this, this is just a cigarette lighter. You can buy these at any automotive parts store. You can buy them online. Um, you can buy a power port. Uh, they do the same thing. Now negative here hooks up to the outside. And positive hooks up to the middle here. Right there in the middle. Once you have your wires spliced, you can wrap them with some tape. Put a wire nut on them. Um, put a crimper on them to keep these wires together and then positive or plus goes to plus negative will go to negative the outside if you're using a cigarette lighter the outside plug is negative here the one on the casing and the one in the very center is positive and depends on what you're trying to run go with a little bit higher fuse remember this solar charger controller is only a 15 amp so it will only put out 5 amps max through the load now your question was running a coffee pot if it's a 12 volt coffee pot and your solar charger controller is large enough that's a must um, there is no way this little controller on load would push this coffee pot. This is a 12 volt coffee pot. 12 volt does take a very long time to actually work. And let me take you outside and I'll show you again how I have it hooked up outside. Now I did test the coffee pot on, uh, I'm doing laundry here as you can tell. Um, I did test it on this one out here. Right here in the center, it goes down to a fuse. I have a 15 amp fuse on here, and it goes to the positive on the load and negative goes straight out and connects here on the outside. I apologize, I do have it wrapped up and I do have spare fuses in here to change out different size fuses. So to hook up something to your load, now if you're gonna try to run something like a 12 volt coffee pot that takes a lot of power, you need at least something that will kick out that amperage. I have a 30 amp solar charger controller and it puts out 10 amps through the load so figure one third of the size of your charger controller can be used from the load I would go a little bit lower if possible and I would not use this full time at a full 10 amps going through the load but just a short amount of time it's fine right here negative that goes to the outside the casing and positive connects to 
the fuse and then up to the center of the cigarette lighter. Now remember, this is on the load. This is not running off the batteries. This is running off the load. Oh, damn, that's going to be so hot. Yeah, if I can get it out without burning myself. Hold on. Yeah, let me do that again and set this phone down. Ugh. I don't know if you can see it. It is putting out a lot of heat. Okay, so... They asked how to you hook this up. Come on, let go. <clears throat> on the negative side, if you're going to use one of these or even a power port with the negative on the outside, the negative goes to the outside casing or the negative side on your power port. The positive here. I don't know if you can see that. The, the sun's really out here. I, I really can't see. Right there. Positive right there. Goes out through a fuse. Always have a fuse. And then into the center. Now remember, each one of these plugs is going to be different. Um, if you get a power port uh, like they use in trucks and vehicles, it may be different than this now. It could be just plastic. Let's run back in here. Oh, it is so bright out there. Now, I did get this stuff down so I could um, talk about this. The outside charger controller I have is a 30 amp. This is a 15 amp. So no more than one third of the loaded rated power or the rated power can go through the load. All right. And remember, it's easy to hook up. You have to have a fuse between your load on the positive side to the positive side of your um, cigarette lighter or power port. <clears throat> Negative is on the outside. Positive. Ah, I should have taken this off before I did this. Right there is positive. Right there, the one in the center. Let me see if I can pull this off. Give me a sec. Okay. Right there is positive. The one in the center is positive. The one on the outside is negative. This is positive. This is negative. So, <clears throat> you wouldn't even have to have something like this. If you could have one of these, you could actually connect it to this wire here with the fuse and just plug that straight in. Like, like this. And then your negative could go straight up into your negative on your load. So, all you need is one of these here. Uh, I already have so much tape on this. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, now, if I would have had this on this wire right here, say like this, then this would plug directly into the cigarette lighter. And then negative would go from out here up to the negative side of your load all right now please remember your charger controllers are rated basically for one third going through the load no more than one third so if you have a 30 amp charger controller you are right at the edge of pushing 10 amps through your load if you have a 15 amp charger controller it will push around 5 amps through your load. It all depends on the charger controller, how well it's built. And if you have something like this that has a surge when it starts. 
when a coffee pot surges it pulls a great deal of power I did show this right here 12 volt coffee pot running off of my outside solar with can hooked up to the cigarette lighter outside um, remember the least amount of connections and the shorter the wire the better it is that's what I'm saying if you could get a fuse holder wire that into your charger controller and then put an end on it like this one and that would go on your cigarette lighter So basically, it, it looks something like this. And then negative, of course, will go to negative. Do not overload your charger controller. Whatever you do, uh, you can also hook up small DC to AC inverters on the load. I have shown that in some of my videos. But if you're wanting to run something like this, literally, a 12-volt coffee pot, you have to have a charger controller large enough, heavy enough, nothing less than a 30 amp charger controller, and you're talking about a good deal of solar. Um, I have 400 watts of solar hooked up, and yes, it will run this, but I want you to understand, if it doesn't have enough power going through the load, it will draw power from the batteries. Now, if you're trying to hook up a regular coffee pot that you plug into your wall, my best advice, hook up your uh, DC to AC power inverter onto your battery bank. And then plug your appliance directly into your batteries. Anything that is 12 volt uh, can plug into something like this onto your load because it's a 12 volt system uh, this can also be a 24 but I use it for 12 any appliance is 12 volt if your charger controller is large enough it will run that I mean literally it will run that but if you're using 110 appliances or 220 appliances that has to be wired directly to your battery unless it pulls no power now I have shown this fan running off of the load with one of my small DC to AC power inverters connected to the load it's plugged into the cigarette lighter here and it has an adapter to wire it to the back of the inverter and I did have a very small inverter that I did give to someone the uh a uh, 120 watt inverter I gave away so the smallest inverter I have now is a 400 watt it can hook up to this and it can run things like this fan it can run a laptop off of the load directly because it doesn't pull that much power with the power inverter like I said if you are using something like this that you can plug into a car if your charger controller is large enough and you have it wired right then there's a good chance you can run it off your load I hope this answers the question for the person that asked um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this M E K S O U V A N H I'm not gonna try to pronounce this I'm just going to make a video describing how I have things hooked up and like I said th this would I would have a wire a single wire going from here to the negative on the load and on the positive I would have a fuse no matter what and the positive would hook up to the center here with one of these All right, I am fixing to go. I hope this explains um, what you were asking about on the load. Remember, my charger controller on the outside is basically wired the same way. Um, my fuse goes to my charger controller. 
then my positive side is hooked up to the fuse basically like this on the positive and my negative side goes from negative to the negative side to the charger controller it all depends on the size of charger controller how much solar you have how strong uh, of appliance you're trying to run this takes basically 10 amps or right there pretty damn close so it takes quite a bit of a uh, power but I can run it on my charger controller outside now it would burn this up I mean this is only a 15 amp that means only 5 amps max can be pulled to the load So I hope this answers your question. Um, if it doesn't, let me know and I will try to make a better video for you. Um, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, M-E-K-S-O-U-V-A-N-H. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I apologize. But this is a video for you explaining how I was running the coffee pot off of my load now remember this was outside I did this I have a much larger heavier charger controller I have a 30 amp charger controller outside now I'm just explaining here how it's hooked up so I don't have to unwrap all the wires out there but if you're going to run a regular coffee pot such as you plug into the wall like this then your batteries definitely um, yeah you have to have enough batteries one two wire your DC to AC power inverter straight up your batteries or on a, a block where you can um a bus bar not a block excuse me a bus bar that way you can draw that power straight from your batteries instead of using your load if you're going to use load I advise it using your load for things like charging during the day maybe running some lights during the day uh, maybe a laptop and if your charger controller is large enough and you have enough solar yes you can use the load for a DC coffee pot or DC appliances depends on how many amps that that pulls and how long you're going to use it when this is brewing it takes a lot of power but once it's done brewing and it kicks down here to the hot plate it uses hardly anything so that's what I'm saying it all depends on your situation and what you own and as far as hooking it up positive fuse positive side on your cigarette lighter or your power port then negative straight into the negative side and of course this will go to the battery and here's the solar I hope this answers your questions um, if it doesn't please let me know and I'll try to answer them the best I can Alright, this video is for M-E-K-S-O-U-V-A-N-H. Like I said, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I hope this helps you out. Alright, everyone have a good one. Bye.